Americans have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 3 and the trending contracts. And today's contract, Run Rippers 13, set in New York. And the contract ID is up on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a go at it and has been supplied to us today courtesy of M's HitGal. So on to today's briefing. These targets have ruined many runs and must pay with their lives. When I was a young and up and coming agent, these snitches constantly told tales to security guards or other enforcers, which made me lose my beloved green guns. Take them out, agent. So for today's challenge, we have five targets available to us with no stipulations on how we dispatch them or what we wear whilst we do so. So we have a free map. So for today's challenge we will be starting undercover in the garage where we will also have a aromatic gas grenade stored up, not the remote, the detonate on impact one. Uh, a lethal syringe, our ever trusty lockpick, and a silenced pistol. So right from the start and off the bat, we are going to make our way around the edge of the loading bay here. We're going to retrieve our gas grenade. There we go. And we're going to proceed on to the security room because we can't run around dressed like a rabbit. So up onto the loading dock take out the camera outside the security room we're going to lock pick the cabinet on the wall ahead of us and in here we will find some chloroform and we're going to take that chloroform and we're going to add that to the ventilation system back in the loading dock area and then once that's in we can return once again to the security room and we are going to turn on the air conditioning and that's going to render three of the four guards in this area unconscious. We're going to take out the cameras while we're here. Now to get that fourth guard to get unconscious as well, we're going to make our way up the vault stairs, which will convince the AI we have left the area. And that fourth guard will then go into the security room and he will pass out. And there he goes now. So we can make our way back down to the security room, not forgetting to turn off the air conditioning before we enter. We're going to take one of the guard's outfits and the key card that he drops. And then from here we can make our way out and into the deposit box area, not pick our way through this first gate on our right and make our way up the stairs. And we have a bit of a journey ahead of us because we are heading for the first floor bathroom area uh, where the investment banker can be poisoned in the toilets. We are actually heading for those toilets. Uh, we're making our way all the way around along the corridor, past the fired worker, up the stairs and into the bathroom just on our left. In the cubicle on our left we will find a cabinet on the wall. We're going to lockpick that cabinet and in here we will find some lethal poison. We're going to take that lethal poison and we are going to make our way over to the security room opposite. Now our target has just put down his glass so we have enough time now to run into the room, poison the bottle of water on the table in the centre of the room and immediately vacate back to the bathroom. So there is our next target. Uh, he is gonna get spooked by our presence and he's gonna make his way out onto the stairwell. He's been doing naughty things in here, probably why he's a target. So when he goes out onto the stairwell, we're gonna follow him, close the doors behind us and throw him over the balcony. 
Uh, his body will be found in a little while. Unfortunately, most of the bodies are found by the same person. As you can see there, I believe that's Mr. Matt. So once we have thrown our um, worker over the balcony, the security guard will also be drinking the poisoned bottle of water. So that's two targets in very quick succession. We're going to make our way past the security room and up to Athena's office where our next target is the receptionist. So we're going to make our way into the recreation room behind the receptionist, grab the apricot from the table and throw that against the wall just outside of the door here. That's going to get the attention of the receptionist and when he comes round to investigate we can then shoot him in the head. Down you go. We're going to take his body and hide him in the closet in the restroom and we can then move on to our final two targets. So our next target is down on the investment floor, one floor below us. We're going to make our way out of the area using the uh, wall panels there for cover make our way down the stairs past the conference room area and just down here around to our right we're gonna quickly hide behind the door here and our next target is the young enforcer lady you can see just over yonder we're gonna select our gas grenade and when she moves over to the left hand side we're gonna step out from our location and throw our gas grenade at her feet and that's going to make her incredibly ill and she is going to make her way down the corridor and into the bathroom and we're going to get there ahead of her avoiding the enforcers in the security room and we're just going to wait in the bathroom for the arrival of our target and she's going to come in very very shortly and make her way into one of the cubicles to be sick. So here she comes now. And when she goes into the cubicle, we can just follow her in and drown her in the toilet. So that is four targets taken care of. And now we're in for a sizable wait because our final target is Officer Frank and he has a particularly long routine with lengthy stops all throughout it. So to get to Frank we now need to make our way back down the stairs and around to where the fired worker is and we're going to make our way along the corridor to where the job interview room is and we're just going to walk into the room, close the doors behind us and we are going to wait right, right here now, Officer Frank is currently down in the teller hall and he is going to be a little while before he gets here. So we're going to have a fair few minutes waiting for him, but eventually he will make his way along here. Uh, he's going to stop just outside the room and tie his shoes before moving on down the corridor that we came down some minutes ago. And we have our lethal poison ready and waiting and when Officer Frank moves off we can just get in position behind him and jab him with our needle. So that's Officer Frank taken care of. Now he will drop a janitor key. We're going to grab that janitor key. It's the one that's uh, the illegal one to pick up. It's the only thing that's a bit dodgy to pick up. And we can make our way down the corridor and to the maintenance exit. So there we go, one more trending contract taken care of. Rather enjoyable, even though there was a considerable wait to kill Mr. Winkleman. So we got all of our targets eliminated, which will get us our silent assassin rating. I have been Anubis. And I will see you all in the next video.